Here, use this one. Blow it up big. You can't go wrong with a Rembrandt. Make it look good. This is a special. What is it this time, Mike? A hole up and murder at 6th Street an hour ago. I called in for a photographer, and I find you've got them all out on assignment at a charity art exhibit. When it comes to running a newspaper, you've got to let charity begin at home. That's exactly what I'm doing. The exhibit is at my home. Thank you. Mr. Reed asked that I express his regret at not being able to attend this function today, but the press of press business is <laughs> quite pressing. <laughs> Pretty good. He also asked that I extend his heartiest appreciation to Mr. Thornton Richardson of the Richardson Galleries, without whose guidance this exhibit could not have been possible. Rembrandt, Degas, Picasso, Rewalt, names of men present and past. Names of men present and past who have given us a priceless heritage. Paintings from national museums, famous galleries, Loaned by private collectors. Put up your hands. Light up against the wall. Move! All right, guys, go to work. Take care of that television camera. Get me the police. Hurry. Another challenge for the Green Hornet, his aide Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. different or unusual about any of them? All I saw were the guns. You okay? A few butterflies, but I'll live. Mr. Scanlon? Yes. The lab boys confirmed it. There was a laser beam that they used. Laser beam? Talk about fantastic weapons. I've heard of a laser beam, but what is it? Well, it's a concentrated force that generates extreme heat. What about the truck? Anything on it? A thousand trucks, a thousand leads. Well, check the hospital, get me a report on the suspect who was shot. As of now, that's our only hope. Yes, sir. How about insurance? Was there any coverage? Ask Mr. Reed. Only a bond guaranteed by me and the Daily Sentinel, of course. How much? A million and a half, the value of the paintings. Britt Reed? Who is this? Well, just a friend, Mr. Reed. I want you to know the paintings are safe. But for now. For now? Maybe forever, if you're willing to pay the price. Which is? One million dollars. Cash money. 
That's ridiculous. Now, if we start playing with matches, it's going to cost you a million and a half, Mr. Reed. You see? But we know about the bond. Hello? Hello? They didn't waste any time. What do they want? A million dollars, or they burn the paintings. Well, that's horrible. Those paintings belong to the world. But a million dollars? You haven't got that kind of money lying around. Then I'll have to raise it. Well, even if it means selling the Sentinel? Even if it means selling the Sentinel. you taking a big chance there must be a guard on him in the hospital undoubtedly and i'll have to get past him and hope you can get the prisoner to talk you won't talk for the police but maybe the green hornet can convince him it's the right thing to do Nobody's allowed in there.
late. They got him with the laser. You notice anything unusual around here? Nothing. Look. We'll follow him, Cato. Silence and dark. And hope he's not rushing to the airport to catch a plane. Sponsor Thornton Richardson. He's behind this. How did it go? Beautiful. Those. You weren't followed, were you? I was away before anyone knew what happened. Better play safe. You two go outside and make certain. with us I've taken a sudden interest in art <laughs> I didn't think you bothered to buy anything I'm not interested in buying oh well if you're here to steal help yourself you underrate me Richardson I came to cut myself a piece of cake uh, I don't think I quite understand a million and a half worth of masterpieces currently on the market for the discount price of one million were you at Reed's apartment this afternoon possibly and we beat you to the paintings. Exactly. That's why I'm here. You don't think we'd be foolish enough to have them here? I just want my cut of the money. Oh, that's ridiculous. I've been planning this too long to just give it away. I only want half. <laughs> Do you see that empty frame? Before long, it'll contain one million dollars worth of Rembrandt. If Reed pays. He will. I set him up perfectly, with every step falling into place. Every step but one. You now have a partner. What if I refuse? Then that frame might contain a portrait of you, etched in black. I'll be in touch when Reed pays. <laughs> What are you gonna do about him? He doesn't frighten me. Nobody's ever beaten him. But nobody's ever used a laser beam against him. He tries to interfere, it'll be his portrait in that frame. Edged in black. Red Reed. Good evening, Mr. Reed. This is your friend again. Do you have the money? Not yet. It takes time to gather a million dollars in cash. Well, time is something you haven't got much of. Your deadline is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Now listen. You listen, Reed. Now, there will be no stalling. Be at your office tomorrow night with the money, or the paintings get fed to the laser. And, uh, be sure and have Miss Case there with you. Miss Case, what does she have to do with this? Well, she's going to make delivery. Just to assure us you don't try any tricks. 
Now, wait a minute. Ten tomorrow night. Sent for me, Mr. Reed? Yes, I did, Doctor. Have a seat. Thank you. I have a question for you, apropos of our headline story of yesterday. As science editor of the Daily Sentinel, if you had to face a laser beam, what would you use for protection? Well, as far as I know, there is no protection. It concentrates such a high volume of heat that... Wait a minute. There is a highly classified liquid that's used to coat the heat shields of our space capsules for re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. It's manufactured by a local firm. Do you know the firm? No, sir, but I can find out. Do that. Yes, sir. Here it is, Brett. I had to tell some lies to get it, and I hope it works. Thanks, Frank. So do we. Spray it on the black beauty, evenly. One uncovered area and we've had it. We only have 30 or 40 seconds as it is. Would that be enough time? It has to be. One million dollars in cash. I never thought I'd see that. Much less be delivering it. Play it cool, huh? That's going to be your problem. Here's your direction finder. Keep it well hidden. We won't have visual contact, so whatever you do, don't lose it. Well, it's after 10 o'clock. I wonder what they're up to. Red Reed? Here's the plan, Mr. Reed. In five minutes, a cab will pull up in front of the Sentinel building. Miss Case will get into it. The cab driver has his instructions. No harm will come to her? We don't want to kill, but we will if we have to. Registering 8 0. It can't be more than 200 yards away. This is where you change cars, Miss Case. Something's happened to the transmitter. Excuse me. I'll take this. Stay here and make sure we're not followed. Right. Activate the scanner, Kato. They've switched cars. That's the one we followed to Richardson's. They're about half a mile ahead. Follow them, not too closely, and run silent. Green Hornet following Steve. Repeat, Green Hornet. 
Green Hornet following Steve. Do you read me? I hear you. We'll take care of it. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me. Get the laser beam ready. drove into the runoff fighter, Cato. That tunnel leads to the pumping station. Not much room to tuck the laser beam in there. Make sure it's not Steve you burn. He's got a million dollars that I've got plans for. the rocket? Not with Casey on the receiving end. Power coming with headlights. Steve, let him through. Welcome, Miss Kate. Thanks. Another car coming. It's the Hornet. Let's give him a warm welcome. They've triggered the laser beam. I can feel it. They're still coming. Maximum strength. I can't hold my speed. You can't slow down now. Keep going. Taking two hours for lunch isn't like you. Doc Bendix, the science editor, took a bunch of us out to celebrate his raise. That's nice. Which brings to mind, how come him who writes all that dull baloney gets a raise, and me, ace crime reporter and circulation builder, has to struggle along pinching pennies? How come? Because his department does the community and the publisher of this newspaper a great service. That's how come. <sighs> uh, Mike, tell me about the hold-up murder you were on this morning. It was a beauty. These two masked racketeers walked into the supermarket with guns drawn. Then this police car drives up with a cop inside, one cop. Then he gets out, opens the door, pulls out his gun, and takes a blast at them. But he forgot to roll down the window. <laughs> <laughs> 